This is my BITX40 unboxing video. I'm Randy, K7AGE. I ordered my kit on December 23rd and it arrived on January 9th, 17 days later, from India. The BITX40 is just one in the series of BITX transceivers that Ashar Farhan VU2ESE has designed. Now the BITX40 is a 40 meter single sideband QRP transceiver and I have the newer version which includes the direct digital synthesis chip, the DDS chip that's controlled by an Arduino processor and it also includes an LCD display. Now the board is assembled and tested but I get to do all the other assembly work and it including shipping is $59. And yes, you can work the world with the BITX40. Here's Tom Midland, W5KUB, working South Africa, and he's only using a dipole. Good evening, K5JUC, ZS6CCY. ZS6CCY, this is Whiskey 5, Kilo Uniform Bravo, QRP. QRP. Yeah, this is Whiskey 5, Kilo Uniform Bravo, QRP. Whiskey 5, Kilo, Uniform, Bravo, over. Okay, now what's the Whiskey 5, Kilo? Whiskey 5, Kilo, low power. Yeah, this is Whiskey 5, Kilo, Uniform, Bravo. Whiskey 5, Kilo, Uniform, Bravo, running about 5 watts. 5 watts, watts with a BITX 40, over. Okay, I haven't got all of your call. I know it's low power. Whiskey 5, Kilo, something. Whiskey 5, Kilo, Uniform, Bravo. Kilo Uniform Bravo. Okay, Whiskey 5, Kilo United Bravo. I've got you now. You're 4 by 5, 45 on your low power level. All right, thank you very much for the contact. Thank you. Uh, ZS6CCY, W5, KUB, and you're 5'9 and about 10 over in Tennessee. Thank you. Oh, thanks for the 5'9. Good evening, Zulu Sailor 6, Charlie, Charlie Yankee. So here's the package as it arrived from India. It uh, looks like just a cardboard box, completely taped. On the back is the customs declaration, uh, educational electronic kit, value uh, 3,600, uh, whatever the currency is in India. And uh, let's open it up. So I got my knife, and let's, uh, not sure how this comes apart, but let's... Uh, Feels like it may come apart along the edge here. So the way they ship this is in a some type of plastic box. They've had a gone through a lot of work to figure out what's the best way to ship these from India and keeping the cost down. And I already have one nut falling out. It looks like some hardware is loose. I have my receipt and list of the box contents. So here is the LCD display along with the Arduino or the Redino uh, board as I guess they call it. And this looks like it unplugs. So that's going to be the two line LCD display. And here's the uh, little processor. So it's got a little Arduino Nano. And looks like there's the DDS chip and a crystal. And uh, so there's that. Uh, we've got some parts that have fallen out. So here's a bag. We'll come back to that. Let's look at the board here. Wrapped in bubble wrap. Let's get a close up. So here's a close up view of the the board. And there's lots of inductors, and I'm just going to kind of wiggle these to check them, and they appear to be be okay. Here's the uh, final transistor with a heat sink. There's several headers that will connect the external components to. Um, here's four crystals up here in the IF, and uh, in these areas are what. Farhan describes as his bi-directional amplifiers. So uh, in receive, kind of the signal goes one way through the crystal filter and transmit. It goes through another set of amplifiers back through the filter in the other direction. 
So let's look at the parts here. Uh, these are the parts that were kind of loose, like a few standoffs, a couple screws. Looks like a screw and a couple nuts there, and a little capacitor. And I'm just going to set that to the side. I got this whole plastic bag of stuff, so open that up and dump it out here. Be careful not to scatter everything. And let's see what we got. Things that are taking up the most space here are these pre-made header cables that'll go off to like the volume control and connect up the LCD and power and RF. So uh, we have to, or I have to attach to the other end. What else we got here? Um, I believe this is the tuning control. Um, it's a... Uh, Looks like a 10K pot. And this is another potentiometer um, with a switch. So that would be the power and volume. Um, a DC power plug in uh, ch chassis jack. Uh, looks like a couple other. Um, little jack, so uh, I don't know, headphone, speaker. I have to look at all the instructions, see what those are. Uh, this is a BNC. That cap is on there pretty hard. So this is the antenna connector with a cap. This is a little Electra microphone and a couple pads here on the back that we'll have to solder to. So there's the microphone. Even get a microphone. Um, a little tiny push button switch. Uh, a little toroid with the DDS module. Uh, there's a couple parts that aren't needed on, on the board. And it's just toroid and probably this little capacitor. So they've included those in case you want to go back to the analog VFO. But um, from what I hear and from what I've read, it's not very stable. And that's one of the reasons we now have the DDS board. And looks like some more screws and standoffs. Okay, so you got your boards, uh, you know, a box full of parts. You, know, you have to put this together somehow and this is a real hands-on tinkering hacking uh, modifying playing maybe you have to troubleshoot it and make it work project so uh, just be aware that this will take a little bit of effort to, to get going so there's a lot to go on here and you may want to make a bunch of changes and you know watching the Yahoo group and the Facebook group you may see uh, some modifications and some things that other people have come up with. So what probably the best thing to do is don't worry about how you're going to package this. But you probably want to nail this stuff down so you don't have a bunch of loose boards and wires on your workbench and things moving around on you and creating problems. So I was at the dollar store and uh, looked around of what I could find that would allow me to um, to kind of mount all this stuff together while I get it running. So one thing I found was this um, drawer organizer tray. And one of the things I thought about was turning it upside down and I could uh, mount the board on the top. Yeah, maybe like this, um, the RF in the back maybe. And there's a, uh, Looks like enough room on the front to mount the display, you know, and uh, mount the controls inside, you know, and drill some holes and run some wires around. And this would be a, this might make a real nice package to experiment with a BITX40. Another idea I had, you know, this was one dollar in the, over in the dollar store, and I've read about guys buying these little uh, cutting boards from the dollar store, and. Uh, you know, this is, um, how big is this? i got my measuring here. It's about six and a half, 
by about nine and a half. So I thought I could mount the the BIT X40 on here, so it could mount like that, and uh, you know, with some standoffs and the screws, and uh, you know, if you had some little brackets or something, you could mount the mount the controls. Um, I think it'd be. I think I'm leaning more towards towards this idea. I think that uh, might be a real kind of nifty way to, to put this together while I get it running. Stay tuned. Lots to do. Lots of research. A lot of stuff to read. And uh, start putting this together. Tune in again. K7AGE, Randy. Thanks for watching.